All right, this is Andrew Jolly with Joda Home Inspections. We're at 3333 South, 3130 East, doing a sewer scope. We've only got the camera pushed out 50 feet. We're not very far out at all. Um, I had to go through a couple of real tight turns, and I'm, I'm just not able to push out any further, even with some running water. It's just not going any further. Um, so there's a lot of pipe that we're not able to see. I would recommend asking the seller if they are aware of a clean out. Um, it's best to have clean outs every 50 feet. <clears throat> and a lot of times they'll have one right outside the house. And so if they can find one or they know where there is one, I'll come back and I'll scope it through there. And that way we can see the rest of the line. Right there, I think that was causing part of the issue. Going through that tight turn with cast iron, it's just putting too much friction on the on the cable and preventing me from pushing out. Um, this line does have some standing water. Um, my camera head, you know, before I was running water, was was just barely peeking over this this water. Um, about about where it's at now. Uh, so that's a little bit of a flat spot or a belly uh, that can allow waste to build up, which can lead to a backup. You can see how in some areas, even with running water, it's staying low. And so yes, I'm running water, but you can see the difference of how it should look versus how some areas are, are holding water. Now uh, this is cast iron. Downside with cast iron is it gets very rough and rusty and eventually needs to be replaced. If you can get the insurance in this area, I would get it through HomeServe. That'll help offset the cost when it needs to be replaced. So just to recap, I'm not seeing the entire line. I'd recommend finding out if there's another access point so that we can see the rest of it. Um, and you do have some flat spots which are holding water, which is not ideal and can lead to a backup. So I'm going to end this recording now.